Now back to New England Nation. Welcome back. Time now for the roundtable with Gresh and Ruthie. All right, so the Chiefs are 5-0, the Pats 3-2, and arguably the two best teams in the AFC. KC wins, they go up three games, but technically four because they'd have a tiebreaker. Does this game decide home field advantage in the AFC? Ultimately, Yanni, I don't think so because Kansas City still got to go through the meaty part of their schedule, and we know the Patriots normally get better as the season goes on. So, you know, will it come down to the whole both teams are 12 and 4 and then this game matters? I'm still not banking on it. And plus, Kansas City, don't you kind of feel like they always have this hype at the beginning of the season. I feel like Kansas City is always this team that has a lot of hype and then some bad things happen and they kind they of fall They haven't won off. a big game in the Andy Reid era, sure. that's I for mean, sure. Well, they're like the Wisconsin of the NFL in that they'll be like 10-0 and 0 and you think, wow, they might be able to win the national championship and then they lose to like Illinois or something like that, yeah. someone they shouldn't lose to. So you know there's going to be one of those. And let's remember too, Kansas City really hasn't been beset by injuries yet. Among the things to keep an eye on today is the health of Justin Houston and Eric Berry. If they don't have Eric Berry, that's a big loss for this Kansas City defense. All right, we've been talking about Patrick Mahomes probably more than Tom Brady in this episode. Is he the next big thing, Ruthie? Um, I think he could be. I, th- I, always, I hate this topic because everyone was so excited about Jimmy Garoppolo, who had only had, you know, five NFL starts, and then he, like, gets hurt. So you, you, it's so hard to see these things play out. I think Patrick Mahomes is a very special player. I think he looks like he has the potential to be the next big thing, and he has a personality and um, a likability about him that I think makes people um, want him to be the next big thing. I'm not ready to go there yet at all, because when the league catches up with some of the run pass option stuff they do, then what kind of game does Pat Mahomes have? Guys we've seen who are the real superstars, Breeze, Brady, I'll even put Phil Rivers in that category. They have the ability to run a base offense and to run an offense that really translates to the NFL. They're doing some gimmicky stuff here, but what happens when some of that speed is off the field? I don't know if this guy's accurate enough to be like a Brady. I think he's top five, though, in in five years when Brady, Breeze, and and Rodgers are maybe gone. Him and... uh... Look, the, the, the next big thing at quarterback is Sam Darnold, and Baker Mayfield isn't far Darnold. behind. Listen, what about when, the Tom Brady, wagon? when Tom Brady, well, <laughs> I, I think his hand is stamped. He's already there. He, in the words of Costanza, he can come and go as he pleases. <laughs> All right, we've been talking about the Chiefs offense this whole, this whole day. Who on the defense or how do the Pats stop the Chiefs? Well, they stop them by taking away easy throws. They stop them by getting a lead. And then they stop them by keeping them off the field. I mean, this is one of those games where for the Patriots, you want 34 minutes of possession time, 35 minutes of possession time if you can. And if so, they'll put up a big number of points. I really believe that because I do not believe in the Chiefs' ability to stop the run. People have been waiting. Sony Michelle this, Sony Michelle that. The Chiefs can't stop the run. The Patriots should be able to run it on them. And conversely, if the Patriots get that lead, it's going to be much easier for the D to deal with Kansas City. How important is it? Sorry, how important is it going to be to affect the quarterback and get guys like Trey Flowers and Dietrich Wise and those kind of guys getting to him? All right, now tell you what, Ruth, you bring enough? no, but you bring up something interesting. Uh, Kansas City wants to get the ball out quick. But the guys you mentioned are like 6'5", 6'6", with long arms. Mm. Mahomes isn't the super tallest guy, so get those hands up. I think for defensive linemen, if, as soon as he hits that back foot and pulls up and starts to th- get the hands in the air and cut down those throwing lanes. And I got to tell you, week one last year is probably the game in the last five years where I remember the most big plays against the Patriots defense. You typically don't see that because McCourty and Deron Harmon usually play 50 yards off the line of scrimmage. So if the Patriots can contain the big plays, I think they'll be okay. It's interesting because, Yanni, I think they're going to have to mix zone and man. Everybody's talking about man coverage. We saw what happened in the plays there when Jacksonville went man coverage. Boom, catch it, stick the foot in the ground and go the other way. Tackling's got to be big. The first guy to a ball carrier has got to wrap him up. Second guy's got to finish the job, and they better make sure that if they're in space, they've got somebody else to help them. All right. Well, still to come on the New England Nation. 